What the fuck is a Uno reverse card? Have you ever played Uno? No. You've never played Uno? No. You... Welcome to From Takedowns to Breakdowns, the best show on YouTube featuring a and P. Now today we're here to talk about a topic, to talk about something that was said many, many moons ago, but that has resurfaced in my mind. And it's none other than that old age saying that I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. And we're here to find out what that is. What, what was Meatloaf talking about? Exactly, because he was just like, re he was reversing, doing an Uno reverse card with that whole statement. What the fuck is a Uno reverse card? Have you ever played Uno? No. You've never played Uno? No. You jail. Jail for you. Okay. You what? go to it's like Monopoly. You go to jail. You like pineapple on your pizza, and you don't know what Uno is jail. Okay. So moving on from that, the, the question really has to be breaking down into two different aspects. The first part is he says, "I will do anything for love." That means the guy will do anything. I mean, he'll he'll sell a kidney. Uh, he'll do an organ transplant. He'll rob a house. He'll rob a bank. Well, maybe he won't do those things. Maybe those are the... Uh, no, but I'm starting just with the first statement. The first okay. statement, before he says the second thing, the first statement is, I'll do anything for love. Anything. And then he tracks back You know, with... butt stuff, whatever. The guy will do anything for love. He's not, he's not putting any restrictions. And then what I assume is the person that he's talking to, his love interest, they say something. And he's like, but I won't do that. But I won't do that. And I'm like, so how kinky was that? That he won't even do. Exactly. Well, but okay. But the moment you say I won't do that, whatever that is, that means you're not doing every anything for everything for love. It means you're doing almost anything for love. There's one thing that you're drawing the line in the sand, and you're saying I'll do anything, but I won't do that. So what? What? What, what could be that? What, what would that be for you? Have you ever thought about that? I've never thought about that. I I, I don't think I would pick up a soap. If I was in prison. Oh. So I would do anything for love. But I wouldn't do that. But I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm, that's where I kind of draw the line. Yeah. That's where I draw the line. Because, you know, even in prison, we all need some love. But that's I where I draw the line. But though. that's where I draw the line. I'm not going to do that. Because I feel, I have a bad back. So I feel like if I bend down to grab the soap, the chances are I could pop another hernia on my back. Exactly. And then, like, I don't think they have massage therapy there or chiropractors or at least nobody who's certified. I'm sure they have a guy that could perhaps crack my back. But I don't know if I want the guy to crack my back. If you know what I'm saying. More. Yeah. He'll do more than crack your back. Yeah. He's like, oh, I have this perfect shiv. It's like acupuncture for your back. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to go down that road. So going back into meatloaf, I can think of a couple of things that perhaps that could be. In meatloaf or for us? No, for meatloaf. For meatloaf. Let's start with meatloaf first. I think one is skipping a meal. I, I, don't, I don't see him as the kind of guy. To skip a meal. To yeah. skip a meal. So maybe she said to him, hey, keto. You know, like I'm into keto. You I'm, know, a, I'm a vegan. Uh, you know, exactly. You know, like no, no more chicken wings. You know, no more of those barbecue chicken wings with that sauce dripping, dripping, dripping. No more of that. And he said, you know, listen, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that. You're crazy. You're crazy. I, w I won't do that. You know what I mean? Maybe that's maybe that's where they went. He also seems to like to ride a motorcycle. So maybe she said, his love interest said that, hey, no more motorcycles. You know, no it's either more the motorcycle or me. And he's exactly. And he and said, he chose the motorcycle. He chose the Harley. Still a lady. Yeah. He's, he's still riding a lady. He's just riding a different kind of lady. So maybe that was it. I, outside of those things, I honestly can't really think, maybe stop singing, quit your, your career, quit music, release a good album. Uh, you know, these are all possibilities. These are all possibilities. I know. Maybe she said to him, you know, try to release something that sells so you can buy me a house. And, uh, I'll do anything for love. But... Uh, recording a, a best-selling record? Making good decisions? No. No, no I won't like, do that. He missed perfect opportunities. Like, Meatloaf. Why didn't he do anything with a Meatloaf brand or anything like that? I don't, even Chef Boyardee. Not, I don't know Chef Boyardee, but like... They could have their own brand of Meatloaf with him on it. Missed opportunity. I was going to say Hungry Man or any of those like frozen TV dinners that have Meatloaf. Oh. He would be the guy who's like... Uh, and then the commercial would be him opening the microwave. And saying, you know, I will do anything for, for love. But I won't do that. But I won't do that. Which is making your own meatloaf. You just pop one in the microwave. It's a lot faster. I don't know. They could they could, they could have something. played off of it. But exactly. It was lost opportunity. Yeah, definitely a lost opportunity. Now, if you ask me, I, you know, 
there's a lot of things I wouldn't do for love. Like I already said, I wouldn't pick up the soap if I was in jail. That's definitely one because I have a bad back. Not for anything else. I just have a really bad back. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you, you, your back is as bad as I mean, the taller you are, the worse your back exactly. is. Exactly. It would be so bad if I bent down and I was stuck in that position. Oh, you know, like those older people that have those those, those spine problems that always look, yeah. they're always looking down like like they're trying to find They're coins. always at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, they, yeah. They're, they're like a, the Pythagoras theorem of, uh, of people. They have they have a perfect angle there. You can calculate the hypotenuse and, and the angles and everything. You do everything just by their shape. I, I always feel like they're looking down to see if they can find a quarter. But I, I just don't think uh, I don't think I would do that just because I have a bad back. You have a bad back, so we no definitely... other reason. No, there's no other reason whatsoever. It's, it's really it's it all comes to a health concern, a health yeah. risk, a uh, health issue. Anything else that you would say to somebody that I'll do anything for love or I'll do anything for you, but I won't do that. Hmm. Would you uh, donate a testicle? Oh, no. You have two. Yeah, I need two. No, you don't. They're a this matching way, pair. This way God gave you two so you could like spare one. No, nah, no, nah, they're a matching pair. They're, well, Lance they're a perfect only, link. Lance Armstrong only has one and the dude still hits it. Like, like seriously. Craig Forrest only has one. That doesn't make him less of a goalkeeper. If anything, now he has less balls to grab onto. I like my balls how they are. I would not like my balls to look like the, the, the gobbler on a turkey. Oh, wow. So you, you won't do that? No, I would not do that. See, that's, I, the, that's probably one of those things I would not do for love. Well, uh, I, for me, depending on the situation. Really? Like, like, if you needed one, I think I would give you one. I wouldn't want yours, because then it wouldn't match. It would be kind of awkward, though. I know. Walking around it's with like walk, it would be like walking around with like a, a, a colored like blue shoe on one foot and like a green shoe on the other foot. They don't really match. It's not a matching pair. Okay. I just thought about a couple of other things. It's like things. wearing flip-flops and, and, uh, and uh, socks. I was just going to say, I wouldn't or do that. And socks. I, I wouldn't do that for love. No. I, I wouldn't do that. You know, that's maybe, 100%. Maybe early 2000s, but not now. Yeah. I also wouldn't do karate in the pit. Maybe I would. You would do that for love? Yes. Wow. I would be I have Daniel son and I'd start kicking everyone. There's no fear in this dojo. There's no fear. There's no fear in my dojo. I would go in the middle of the pit and say there's no fear in my dojo and start taking on people. I I wouldn't do that. I think it I think karate in the pit is such a douchebag move that, you know, I, you, no. I, that's definitely one of the things I wouldn't do. You for wouldn't love. even windmill? No. I would stage dive. Which probably would kill me. Yeah, no because no Because I could see it would be coming the parting of the Red Sea. I would become the flying Moses. You'd be flying Moses. <laughs> it would be the flying Moses. Everybody would open up and I would fall flat on my face. But, you know, I would at least give it a give it a go. Maybe I would do it at a concert where, where it's so packed. The first concert after COVID. It's so packed that, no that nobody can move. can move. And then they have no choice but to take me full on on their heads. Who knows? Maybe people will just start getting on top of people okay. just to let that part happened. No, no, no. I think everybody would stay there and everybody would give me a head because I would just land on them and I would, I would be getting everybody's head all the way through. It would be the scariest thing in the world. It's like the sky is falling in Chicken Little. I know. It's just that the sky weighs like 300 pounds <laughs> <laughs> and the sky is me. So I think that's a lot worse than the yeah. sky falling in Chicken Little. So there's a few other things I can think of. I, I, organ donation, besides you and your mom, I, don't, I, I think that's one of the things I wouldn't do for love because let's say I donate a kidney. And then she breaks up with me. But then she has my kidney. I want it back. I want it back. If, like, but then, then I'm going to be accused of, of, of giving and taking. And, and then that's not a good thing either. So I don't think I would want somebody to have my kidney. It's, that, it's like the rule of not tattooing people's names on you. With the exception of your kids. Outside of your kids, I, I don't... Yeah, because your kids can't stop being your kids. I, exactly. exactly. It doesn't matter what happens with the relationship. At the end of the day, they're still, they're still your, your kids. kids. So... So I can't think of many other things. In a metal scene, in a metal world, I think for me is really karate in the pit is one thing I wouldn't do. Uh, besides that, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a big fan of wearing shirts from the band that's playing to the concert. Oh, yeah. So if, if, if I was told like, oh, let's watch, wear matching shirts of the band, not necessarily the two of them matching, but like band shirts and let's go. I don't think I would do that. I think I would kindly decline. Yeah. Okay. It's breaking one of my commandments. It's yeah. It, I just feel like it's a little bit too much. And then going back to the jumping off, I wouldn't jump off the stage. No. No. But not I even, do karate in the pit. Not but even I like jump a. Off the stage. Not even like a, a power bomb, like like a like a, a cannonball. cannonball? I'd kill someone. Oh, I'd be like sure. Mario on the Goombas. I'd kill someone. <laughs> I'd snap someone's neck. Well, you gotta protect your neck. 
Yeah, according to uh, the Wu Tang Clan, and I think it's still valid to today. You need to protect your neck. So, I mean, if you cannonball into the audience, holy shit, they better have like nine one one. Like, just 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 keep on bringing ambulances. I think you take a bunch of them down. It would it would be like playing bowling with with real humans. You're the bowling ball, and everybody else is the pins. I was gonna say pinball. No, it's just human bowling. But you're the ball, and they're the pins. Strike. Strike. And then I would go after you for the turkey. Oh. The turkey is if you get three strikes in a row. So. I Anyways. didn't know that. I thought that was just in golf. Was there turkey in golf? No, there's an eagle and a birdie. Who cares? I mean, they're still birds. Who? They still have feathers. Exactly. You're still within the same animal kingdom. But, but like, turkey? What the hell would be a turkey? Are you mad at me that I don't know golf terminology? You know what I'm mad? I'm mad that there's the birdie. And there's the eagle. The birdie is one under par. The eagle is two under par. Don't ask me how I know. I don't play golf. Yeah, I'm I don't confused play, right now. I, I don't play golf. I don't play golf. But I know that. And then if you if you go one over is a bogey, shouldn't that be the turkey? Like you're a damn turkey that you went one over the number. Wow. I'm disappointed that you know so much about golf. It's 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 a sport that I know a lot about, but I, I don't play it. I don't, and I, I don't watch it. I don't play it. It's I, not a sport to me. No. No. Wow. So if they moved it into the Olympics, I think it's in the Olympics, isn't it's it? It's not. Skateboarding is in the Olympics. How the fuck is golf not in the no, Olympics? Well, skateboarding is fun to watch. It's fun to watch them do like flips in the air and shit like that. It's not fun to watch some some guy with the pants all the way down up to his uh, belly button just hitting the, the ball on the ground. It's not fun. It's fun for the people who like it. There's a lot of people who enjoy that shit. I think it's fun to drive the cart around. That I would like to do, just drive the car around and hit people with with a golf club. Okay, but that's shit. a whole different sport now. That's just bumper cars, but with real cars. And oh. with golf and with golf sticks. That should be a, a, a new sport. That should be a new sport. Now that I could get into. I could get into that. I could totally get into that. And on that note, I think we've gone completely off the rails with this thing. I mean, we started talking about meatloaf. Now we're talking about golfing. And well, what, we didn't come into this video with any with any plan with anything prepared. We're just sat here. We have a question. Let's try answering it. Uh, now the question is, did we answer it? We probably didn't because we're not meatloaf, so we don't know what he's thinking. But I think the 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 dropping of the soap is probably one of them. Maybe that's one of his reasons. I'm thinking that one day when we discover Atlantis, and we get to the pinnacle of Atlantis, to the to the cathedral in the middle of Atlantis, there's going to be a manuscript there. And that manuscript is going to say exactly what meatloaf yeah. won't do for love. We're going to crack the Da Vinci Code of meatloaf. of meatloaf. Yes, the meatloaf code. The meatloaf code. Yes, the meatloaf code. All right, guys. On that note, I mean, if you're still watching this, thank yeah, you for doing it. Th this video had nothing to do with the... It had like two minutes of us actually talking about what we needed to talk about. And the rest was just bullshit. It is what it is. I mean, but this is real life for us. I mean, when we talk about anything, how many times do we get sidetracked and yeah. we go on these weird tangents? That's the whole point of this channel is, is for us to have an outlet for us to go on weird tangents. Like, that's, that's what the whole point is. And this video... It was a success then. 100% flawless victory. Fatality. All right. On that note, guys, let us know your questions in the comment section. That's why the comment section is there. It's not for you to tell us that we suck and that this channel has jumped the shark. That's not what the comment section is there for. Or to post links to like porn sites and things like that. Um, the, Okay, maybe those are okay, but keep it to a minimum. Yeah. Yeah, and, and keep it to the top videos of the week. The, the, uh, create a playlist. If yeah. you're going to post a link, Or some hidden gems. Or some hidden gems. All right, I can, I, can, I can live with that as well. Maybe some Asian fusion. Since we're talking about meatloaf, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more into Asian fusion. All right, so use the comment section. Let us know what's on your mind. What questions you'd like us to answer, what you'd like us to dive into. And when in the future videos, we'll pick up one of your questions and we'll dive deep into it. Until then... Stay safe, stay out there, and keep watching our videos. Take care. See ya.